success one fripicism at a time. Exceed your customer's expectations or one of your competitors will. Find out what your customers want before your competitors do. Your prospects and customers can give you important feedback, both directly and indirectly. Perhaps there is another great way to find out how you're doing. This is a blast from my past. After addressing a group of sales contest winners in Hawaii, I was back on the shuttle bus headed for the airport. My best education and content for my speeches comes from asking questions. As I was the only passenger, I leaned forward and commented to the driver. I bet your passengers tell you what they really think about their stays at all these fancy resorts because they know you don't work for them. Oh, yes, he said. In fact, once a month, the general manager of the hotel where you were staying comes down to the depot with a big box of donuts and has coffee with the drivers. While we eat his donuts, we tell him everything that we've overheard about his hotel and about all his competitors' hotels. That is what I now call the Box of Donuts Consulting. The hotel manager could have paid large fees to a research firm that would phone a thousand guests and ask them what they liked, what they didn't like, but that information couldn't possibly be as up-to-date or as honest as these drivers' feedback nor would it give him valuable information about his competition. Do you get, keep, and deserve your customers by finding out what they really want from you? Yes. In addition, I suggest an additional, frequently overlooked, low-tech method, and that is to find a way to talk to others who talk to your customers and have no vested interest in their opinions. I challenge you to find ways to use the box of donuts consulting. Yes, you can substitute donuts for bagels or muffins. My friend, copywriting authority David Garfinkel says, there are five important answers you need to get from your customers directly or indirectly. One, what do you like about buying from us? Two, why did you buy from us in the first place? Three, what problems did you have before you bought from us? Four, how did we help you solve those problems? Five, how is your business better for you now? That last question, says David, is the most important. It's what a positive result looks like to a real customer, and it's going to look the same to your other customers and prospects when you tell them about it. Remember, exceed your customer's expectations or one of your competitors will. Success, one fripicism at a time.